facial recognition technology is already gaining popularity in the world. So, watch this. Hi everyone, this is Arthur. And of course, Witcher Regular here, and we are back again with another wonderful video. So, if you don't want to miss any of our new videos, don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon. Advanced facial recognition technology is just one of many technological breakthroughs we can see as the most talked about topic nowadays. But for your information, this advanced technology is already being used in many developed countries in the world. So, without further ado, let us take you to our video. Number one is your face is now your boarding pass. You won't need to pull out your ticket to board the flight to Cancun at JetBlue's Gate 18 at John F. Kennedy Airport. Put away your passport too. Facial recognition technology is unproven and largely unregulated, yet it is already arriving at airports all over the United States. At JetBlue, E-Gates and earlier prototypes, the airline has scanned 150,000 faces in the past two years to verify international travelers before they board. Number 2 is China blazes trail in facial recognition payment systems. You're at the store with no money, no cards, no phone, no problem. If you want to buy something at the Ifori Go supermarket in Tianjin, all you do is smile. China is trailblazing facial recognition payment systems. Alipay, the financial arm of e-commerce titan Alibaba, has already installed cash register machines equipped with cameras in more than 100 cities. Developers said the technology is convenient and safe. Number 3 is China faces up to new payment technology. China's mobile payment infrastructure is already among the most advanced in the world, but the latest facial payment technology being rolled out across the digitally savvy country means paying by smartphone is going to be old hat soon. Number 4 is Facial Recognition Cameras Turned On in London The Metropolitan Police is to use facial recognition cameras operationally on the streets of London for the first time. They'll be switched on within a month in an effort to find specific people suspected of serious or violent crimes. 
but privacy campaigners question the system's accuracy and say the move is a serious threat to civil liberties. Number five is the future of marketing, security, and your privacy. Advocates are pushing for facial recognition software to be used on the mass consumer market to tailor marketing to the individual. But how much will this compromise our privacy? Watch. Number six is facial technology redefines shopping experience at Beijing convenience store. One point four billion faces are stored on China's national databases. Which makes facial recognition a potent tool for security services, but it's in big demand too in banking and retail. Shoppers merely sign up to a JD.com account via their smartphone. Once they've been verified, they can shop freely. There are no queues nor cashiers. Number seven is NAC shows off facial recognition tech at Tokyo's Narita Airport. NSE Corporation gave a demonstration of its facial recognition system at its headquarters in Tokyo. That it says will help passengers board planes faster without having to present passport or boarding passes. Narita will be the first airport in the country to deploy the system called One ID ahead of an expected spike in foreign arrivals for the 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. Number eight is 203 Chinese airports start using face identification check-in. A total of 203 airports across China started using face identification and QR code scanning systems to check in passengers and the system will be installed and used at more airports. Passengers can find a special check-in counters with a posted QR code. Through scanning it with account on WeChat, one of China's popular social media apps, 
they can submit an application form and within 60 seconds, an anti-counterfeit QR code can be retrieved to facilitate their boarding. And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.